Hey everyone, this is uh, Alec from Reddit's Hex Encounter community. Thanks for joining me tonight. Today we'll be unboxing GMT Games Blue Cross White Ensign, uh, which is the third game in the Flying Color series, uh, which is a uh, Age of Sail type game, which is a ta uh, covers tactical engagements dirt between uh, for, of the Russian Imperial Navy. Uh, this was available at a steep discount and during the recent GMT Games uh, annual sale, and uh, this was one of the ones that I picked up. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. Um, this is listed as a 5, uh, right in the middle, a uh, complexity rating of a GMT game, uh, with a higher than average um, solitaire suitability at a 6. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get this open. And let's take a look at what we have here. So this is uh, one of the thinner two-inch game boxes by GMT, so should fit on the shelf well. Um, I have Tracy to thank for this one. Tracy, thank you. I just noticed that in all the other games I've unboxed tonight, I don't know who who packed them. Um, uh, and so Gene, Tony, I, I expect to uh, you know get a list of who packed all these games so I can give them their appropriate thanks. But as usual here, um, Tracy, thank you very much for getting this game together. Uh, we have um, what is uh, an expected roll of uh, baggies here from GMT. I uh, got a nice pile of those someplace. Rule book here is version three from the 2014 printing. Kind of a, uh, a gloss finish on this rule book weighing in at 24 pages. Core rules go through at page 15 or so, this act so this actually isn't too terribly burdensome, with a, a good number of optional rules here which add either fidelity or chrome depending on your uh, uh, depending on your perspective. Um, but this does appear to be a black and white printed manual, uh, so um, it would be nice of course to have uh, you know, color on these for some of them, but um, it's fine. Um, and uh, examples, etc. Uh, I don't think that there's a separate scenario book, so let's take a look here. Ship duels, how to set up a duel, the duel sequence of play, like have a 1v1, and scenario alternatives. Oh, there's a playbook, okay. Um, so, and then what appears to be some uh, play aid type material on the back of the rule book. So, there's our rule book. Um, we do have two play aids, one for each player, including some uh, combat results table-like thing with appropriate DRMs and shifts for hexes, uh, a coronade table, a rake table, um, uh, fields of fire. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, what do we have here? We have a hit results table, firing versus one-inch units, firing versus half-inch, big versus small. Now the die roll, the modified firepower, and so you can find out what's happening here, and then um, go against the appropriate RRH column, whatever those are, to then figure out what happens. So, of course, higher numbers appear to be better, maybe, question mark. Um, then information on movement, um, how you move uh, with the wind, uh, what happens when ships are on fire, uh, wind adjustments, grounding, etc. Okay, so two player aids. Uh, let's see, a couple of counter sheets here. So it looks like I will get a chance to use my um, counter trays I picked up on the sale. Uh, so uh, sheet three appears to have a lot of status counters here or informational counters. Um, sheet Two, one and two appear to have units. Sheet one has a lot of units. Green here appears to be the Russian Navy. It looks like we have some Swedes and some Ottomans and maybe some others. Uh, so a, a lot of uh, naval counters here for the ships of the line. And then some smaller counters here, perhaps for frigates. Uh, markers on which sides have fired and need to reload, maybe. Okay, so those are the counters. Next thing we have here is, if I can get it out of the box, oh, well, that's why, uh, D10. And now I've got three maps, three paper maps, um, hex grid on blue. Okay, this is interesting. Let's take a look at the first paper map.
This map is labeled map G. E. Have to try and be careful here and do this without tearing a, okay? So, you know, it's water. Map G, there appears to be somewhat comparable maps for, um, which one are you? H. And I. So G, H, and I being the third game in the series, a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. So apparently they each come with three maps. And now our playbook uh, weighing in at 32 pages. This one is full color, interesting. Um, let's see, an introduction, special rules, um, the scenarios, and uh, what appears to be a three page example of play. So let's kind of rifle through this real quick. Um, introduction uh, about some key terminology, some special rules perhaps with this volume of flying colors, uh, and then some scenarios. So here's the scenario for the Battle of Gogland, Battle of Oland. Apparently the um, Russian and Ottoman Navy squared off quite a bit. Um, and uh, information here on which of the maps to use. This is map H with map I. Uh, it is breezy, etc. Which ships? Okay. So yeah, uh, so perhaps more of a traditional, if you will, hex encounter war game here. Uh, units regulated on a, a hexagonal grid, um, uh, but navy and naval naval tactical. Uh, I do not have any <laughs> Age of Sail games or tactical naval games uh, in my collection, so this is going to fill a, a niche that I don't have. So. Um, going over it all again, what you get in the box with uh, blue, uh, blue Cross White Ensign is you end up with um, three maps, which are apparently uh, three different maps than what you would otherwise have in the Age of Sail series. Three full counter sheets of uh, ships and status markers, two player aids, rule book, playbook, baggy and uh, d10 so, uh, and of course a lovely note by one of the gmt packers so um yeah so this is what comes in blue cross white ensign by gmt games of 2014 uh, thank you all for joining me tonight uh, please do like and share the video uh, you can find me on twitter at at alec mg you can also find me on twitch to catch the stream live at twitch.tv slash alec mg streaming wednesday at 8 eastern and um, uh, you can join the conversation on Reddit at uh, slash r slash hex encounter. Thank you all for joining and uh, we'll see you next time.